Welcome to Eagle Spicy Kitchen and you are cooking with the eagle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some Chinese fried chicken. So you don't have to go to the Chinese to buy your fried chicken. All right. So here's my ingredients. I have a pot of water that is boiling and I'm going to add some sugar. All these, the correct amount is in the description box. All right. So I have this water hot. Add the sugar there. I add some cut up ginger. I'm adding some bay leaf. I'm adding some garlic cloves. I'm adding two sticks of cinnamon stick. This is my thyme. This is my scallion that I'm putting in there. And I'm adding some star anise all right subscribe on my youtube channel and i'll show you the amount that you're going to use so while i have that boil i'm going to be adding some soya sauce i'm going to be doing like a, a cup of soya sauce in here That's going to flavor my chicken, plus it's going to give my chicken a nice color. So that's good. So we're doing some Chinese fried chicken. Now I brine my chicken overnight with salt, with some bay leaf, star annie, and some pepimento pepper. So the, this chicken legs was actually brined overnight. All right. So now I'm going to be dropping it in this hot water here. So you're going to be amazed how great this chicken will come out. So I'm boiling my chicken like about 20 minutes or less, depending. I want it to cook, but I don't want it to overcook. I want to make sure that my skin is nice and firm. So don't forget, it's very important that you brine your chicken overnight, all right? Brine it and put it, last night I did this and I put it in the fridge. Good. Everything is looking good so far. I want to make, make, make sure that the skin is firm. So what I'm doing here is some Chinese fried chicken nice and I have one more here this boy is like he's still alive <laughs> okay good so now I'm gonna leave that to boil see it start forming up already I'm gonna let this cook now for about 20 minutes when it's finished, I'll show you how it's going to look. All right, so let's leave that there for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to come back and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay guys, so my chicken has been boiling for the last 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start take them out and then I let it drain. See? Just take your time with it. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm taking my time to get my chicken out. And I'm gonna let it drain. The draining out, make sure that there's no water on it. It's very important. All right. So far, everything is looking good. It's a nice little piece there. You want to make sure no water is on the chicken because when you fry it, you're going to have issues. Chicken is looking real good. All right, so it's brined. It's parboiled. And now it's ready. I'm gonna wait until it's all the liquid drained out. All right guys, the next step is that we're gonna be frying these chickens that we parboil. All right, so that's enough. Now, I'm gonna wait for the oil to hot and I'm gonna get these chicken in there. Let me prep uh, my bowl and stuff like that to get it ready. All right guys, my oil is hot, so I'm gonna start putting in my chicken legs. You wanna be super careful when you're doing this process. So, all right, the oil is pitching a lot. All right, so I want to stay far. I'm going to try to fit one more piece there. I normally put a cover here, so. So we're frying this chicken. And the reason you see the oil is spilling is because a little bit of water that is in there. But that's the most you will find um, spilling of the, the oil. So we're gonna fry this until it's kind of cold and brown. So you can fry it however color you want it because remember the chicken is actually uh, parboiled and it's brined overnight. You wanna try this recipe. Now, it's super, super, super nice. Fry this like about uh, five minutes. So like about three and a half minutes and then about another two minutes over. Um, because I want the skin to be cripsy, nice, and golden brown. All right, guys, so one side of my chicken is golden brown, if you can see it. And so I'm flipping it over now. It actually took a little bit more time than I thought. So it was like a four minutes. And so now... My chicken is well fried. All right, I'm getting a little bit oil resuscitation there. So I'm just crispying there. As you can see, so I'm gonna let this uh, fry like about another two and a half minutes so I could get the skin golden brown. And then I prepared a piece of tissue in my bowl to actually take it out. So it's from this to this. Let me show you. See the looking good so far? Look.
That's the finishing product, guys. So beautiful my chicken is. I put that piece of paper towel just to suck up the oil and stuff like that. This chicken could serve with fried rice, it could serve with cook up rice, it could serve with you know anything you wanted to. Alright? So I'm gonna let that cold and then I'll cut I'll show you how to cut it up and plate it off. Alright guys, so now you see the chicken here. So I'm gonna make sure I just sorry. And I'm going to just set it off. See how moist and watch how juicy my chicken is. See that? You got to try this chicken. This is Chinese fried chicken. Or should I say Chinese? For those of you who don't know, uh, my grandfather is a Chinese, okay? My... See how beautiful it is? Sorry, just want to make sure the skin is in its perfect place. One of the skin went over there. So it cooks well. And there you have it, our Chinese fried chicken.